welcome to the Boundless Mind. My name is Frank. I will be your guide for today. You want to find out what the Boundless Mind means? Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Well, what is the boundless mind? What do I propose to do for you? Because really, let's face it, I'm here for you, not for me. The boundless mind speaks of our own boundaries, right? I created this in order to help empaths because empaths in particular seem to come to it and come into this world and develop an amazing gift like just incredible for those who don't know empaths are actually people who are able to be connected at a deep level with other individuals and more often than not perceive how they're feeling what they're feeling like they we perceive people in a very different way as most people that in itself is an incredible gift. However, and there's always an however, it comes with its other side because everything in life, and we'll cover this, must have two sides to the coin. So if you go through something, if you discover something, if you see something, if you, whatever you experience in life, the question, what is on the other side of that metal? is always a valid one and it is one that we are going to use often so i hope you're ready for those answers now here's the reason i called it the mount the boundless mind i believe that our mind is filled with boundaries we've put fences walls you name it in there however they're not all useful they were possibly when we were two three five ten whatever you know, those boundaries, we set them there. And when I say boundaries, let's, let's be clear here. There is boundaries and there's boundaries. The boundaries we put on others is a different story. We as empaths really need to learn about those. But what I'm talking about here is the boundaries that we have in our minds and that were put there at many different times in our lives and in many different ways. Now here's what I propose we can do about those. There are things we can easily modify in our lives. Things like the way we speak, our language, the words we use, they do have a lot of power. The, uh, the responses we have to emotions, and especially in the case of empaths, and maybe this should come first, we need to discover excessively well, better than the average person, I believe, that what is my emotion and what is that of others? For those who don't know, empaths feel other people's emotions again. Our beliefs, our belief system is a, a malleable uh, commodity that we have. It is something we can use to affect changes in our lives. What we do with our environment, the friends we surround ourselves with, our job, our habits, those are all things we have power over. I know, it may not seem so yet, Stick around, you'll see. We will get you there. I'm really, really going to try to give you everything you need to get there. Now, that being said, I can make you one exceptional promise, but you're not going to like it. I will do absolutely nothing for you. Sorry. I know. You wanted something, didn't you? But here's what I'll do. I'll offer you tools. I'll offer you knowledge. I will offer you everything you need. However, you remain the creator of your success. I cannot create success for you. I can create success for me, and hey, if I'm lucky, this will be it. <laughs> but you have to be the creator of your success. You have to be the creator of your life. That being said, as empaths, we share a lot of common tra traits uh, we share a lot of common problems. 
I know we need to learn shielding, we need to learn grounding, we need to learn how to uh, access energies, we need to learn how to uh, manipulate, I don't like the word, but that's the only one I find, manipulate those energies in ways that will serve us. This is important. I do not believe that there is good and evil. I do not believe that you should look at the things in your life in terms of is this good or is this bad. Uh, those are very extreme ways of looking at way. It's a very black and white mentality. And so the way I propose that we start looking at things today on this channel together as we move forward and as we evolve and as we empower ourselves is in terms of does it serve me or does it not serve me? And as we start looking at things in that way, you'll be surprised what changes happen in your mind, what changes happen in your life. Because now, you don't have an attachment to, a, to, to morals, you don't have an attachment to, you simply look at things as what they are, and you don't judge them. Non-judgment, crucial. Now, before I leave you, there's one simple thing I want to say. If you don't do it yet, and this is something I risk saying in most of my videos, and it is the only thing I will ever push on anybody, but I will push it as hard as a crack dealer trying to get people addicted. Meditation. Meditation, meditation, meditation. You need to take a moment in your day. You need to take multiple moments if you can but you need to learn to calm relax breathe and then be mindful of your thoughts and be mindful of your actions and be mindful of your life as a whole now I know some people will say well, I tried meditating it's crazy I get thoughts yes you do that's okay um, when we say meditation, remove the thoughts, it is a bit of a, it is what it is. However, something is important to be said here. On your very first day meditating, they're not going to go away. On your hundredth day meditating, maybe for a tiny little short while. But here's what, if you keep at it, you will eventually be able to do much better links, right? And even those very few seconds that you may get at first, they are valuable like nothing you could ever imagine. If I said to you, I will give you those seconds or I will give you a house, pick the seconds. They will get you the house later. You're good. So. In case you don't yet, try to start meditating, okay? Now, again, like I said, I will give you tools. Meditation, that's one of them. So stay tuned, I might have already uploaded it, I may upload it later, I will upload multiple meditations, I will upload different types of meditations, I will upload grounding techniques, I will upload uh, uh, shielding techniques, guys, stick around. We will become powerful allies, you and I, and together we will make life better for both of us. Does that sound like something that you'd be interested in? Well, in that case, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you know what? Let's start our journey together. I love you, and I really, really hope we can make this work together improve both of our lives. I love you. I wish you the best. I will see you next time. Welcome to the Bible School.